refinement of character. And I have to learn Torah, I have to follow the Torah, I have to do mitzvot, that's air and, and food for my neshama. If I will segregate my, my neshama from Torah and mitzvot, it's like me born, putting myself on a diet right now, or holding my breath. The same way that I'm not going to hold my breath, or not going to fast now for a week, I should not put my, my soul on a diet. Meaning that I have to provide to my soul food and air, which is Torah and mitzvot. But my main avodah in this world <coughs> is to refine my character. So Hashem will put me in this world with a lot of good things, but He will also give me a few bad character traits. And maybe a problem with anger, maybe a problem with, uh, with uh, sadness, maybe a problem with the gava, with pride, jealousy, all sorts of things, holding grudge, oh, the midot, there's a whole list of them. And some of us have to refine ten of them at the same time. But that's my avodah here, which means that that's what I came to do here. Now I have to do this 365 days of the year, not only in a certain time. Now, when do I get the, the, the education, the energy, the power, the abundance to take it for the rest of the year? In these seven weeks of Sfirat HaOmer. Now here is the root of it, but I want to apply to my life that every day of my life, I will work on my character traits that need to be refined. So if I was born uh, a person with a lot of anger, it can take me 60 years to work on my anger. And I think that I can work on it in a year, I can. It would takes people years to work on their character traits. And if I'm very judgmental towards other people, that can take me 30, 30, 40 years to work on it. And that's what I need to do. That's what I came to do here. And I'm giving a few examples out of many. Each one needs to realize in themselves what are the character traits in them that they have to refine. One person can be very cheap, one person can be overly uh, uh, generous. That's also not good. You have to uh, uh, evaluate and see what you have to work on. Now in order for me to do that, I need tools. I need to understand where it's coming from, how I need to do it. But that's the main thing. That's the main avodah in this world, it's called Tikkun Midot, and that's refining, fixing, and, and elevating my Midot that come from Netzach Hod and Yisod.